John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text 4. Behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and, lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and, behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. Genesis 37 7. Commentary 4. Behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, etc. So it was represented in his mind in a dream, as if it was harvest time, and he and his brethren were at work together in the field binding up sheaves of corn that were reaped, in order to be carried home. And, lo, my sheaf arose, and stood upright. It seemed to him, that after he had bound and laid it on the ground, that it rose up of itself, and stood erect. And, behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. The sheaves which his brethren bound up, they also stood upright, and all around his sheaf, and bowed unto it, so it appeared to him in his dream. This was a fit emblem of their coming to him into Egypt for corn, and bowing to him, when their sheaves were empty, and his was full. In an ancient book of the Jews Joseph's sheaf is interpreted of the Messiah, whom they call the son of Ephraim. Joseph no doubt was a type of the true Messiah, and in this of his exaltation and glory, and of that honor given him by all his saints who come to him, and receive from him all the supplies of grace.